Finally, after the fair meetings back to back between federal government, NLC, and TUC, they don't suspend strike. Oh. My correct, correct people, we greet Suna. We welcome Suna to DJM TV. We are Bunget so we and update the channel. So if you don't ever subscribe to our YouTube channel, we could now hurry now and go subscribe. Oh. And also turn on the notification bell. So at any time we like say we drop any update like this, we will now go there notify sharp family. And make una not forget to follow us on our Facebook page. Anyway, my people, make we go be run, enter the tour and update who we carry control now. Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress, TUC, don't finally announce, say, they go suspend the strike where they be plan, say, it go start this week, Wednesday, after enough back to back meetings with federal government, so. Now, presidential villa for Abuja, therefore, make this decision, though. The Speaker of House of Rep will be the Chief of Staff to Nigeria New President, Femi Bajabila. Night talk can say them all don't agree oh after the joint committee meeting. Anyway, my people make I live on Nana. Make una watch this video and see the moment where TUC and I'll see all of them agree to suspend the strike. Make una watch the video. A very heartening news to all Nigerians. And uh, the resolution will be shared to you. And then you can the president of the NLC is here. The president of TUC is here, yeah? so you can see that it's a whole government and every labor movement is represented here. And uh, without really jumping the gun and creating the gist of the resolution, the Speaker of the House of Reps is here, yeah? who would uh, go over the resolution with you and then the comrade president of the NLC and the president of the TUC here also will speak to those resolutions. Thank you. All right. Um, let me very quickly, before we go into this, thank the TUC and the NLC uh, for their sense of duty and patriotism. As you are all aware, they've been here, we've been here for hours, I believe, since 4 o'clock. And um, still counting, we're talking about five Last week. Uh, yeah, I mean for today's uh, today's session. Uh, uh, so I want to thank you on behalf of Mr. President and uh, the federal government uh, for taking time out and for your commitment uh, to good governance. Uh, we have deliberated um, and debated uh, back and forth, and we have reached, as has been said, a tentative um, agreement on uh, very salient uh, issues. Uh, and I will just basically read what we have here. And it says, following the engagements between the federal government, TUC, and NLC, with the intervention of the Speaker, House of Representatives, to resolve the disputes that arose from the withdrawal of subsidy on PMS, the following resolutions were reached. One, the federal government, the TUC, and the NLC, to establish a joint committee to review the proposal for any wage increase or award and establish a framework and timeline for implementation. Two, the federal government, the TUC and the NLC to review World Bank finance cash transfer scheme and propose inclusion of low income earners in the program. As you are aware, the cash, the, the, the 800 million dollar loan did not really capture uh, the low-income uh, government workers, so we basically, we'll be talking about how to how how to include them um, in that scheme. Three, the federal government, the TUC, and the NLC to revive the CNG conversion program earlier agreed with labor centers in 2021, and work out detailed implementation and timing. Four, the labor centers and the federal government to review issues hindering effective delivery in the education sector and propose solutions for implementation. Five, the labor centers and the federal government to review and establish the framework for completion of the rehabilitation of the nation's refineries. Six, the federal government is to provide a framework for the maintenance of roads and expansion of rail networks across the country. 
all other demands submitted by the TUC, and that's the seventh, uh, all other demands submitted by the TUC to the federal government will be assessed by the joint committee. So consequently, ladies and gentlemen, the parties agreed as follows. One, the NLC is to suspend the notice of strike forthwith to enable further consultation. Two, the TUC and the NLC to continue the ongoing engagements with the federal government and secure closure on the resolutions above. And finally, the labor centers and the federal government to meet on June 19th, 2023, to agree on an implementation framework. So this communique is signed by Comrade Osifo, President TUC, Comrade Nu Toro, Secretary General TUC, Comrade Ajero, President NLC, Comrade Emmanuel Ugbaja, the Permanent Secretary, the Federal Minister of Labor and Employment, Ms. S. Daju, and by my humble self, Honorable Femi Bajabi, I'm the Speaker, House of Representatives. Thank you very much. I thought that the Speaker read it out. If the CNG is working, assuming the CNG is 100 Naira per litre, people will prefer 100 Naira to 500. Definitely, that will moderate it. Is it fair to say that you have shifted from the The cost being at 500. And by our last meeting, you know, during Silver's time, it was, we were talking about 90, you know, 90 Naira. So if this government achieves an option or alternative that is even under 90 or 120 or whatever, I think every one of you will be clapping for them. Since they will power, you know, to achieve this. A very viable alternative is done all over. So what we need is the willpower. And if we achieve that, I think there will be you know, a lot of success, a lot of progress so made. You know, I believe that uh, what we need is for them you know, to work on like, what we experienced before. By now, we should have gone far. You know. If we do not see the, the manifest willpower by June 19, what will be your next step? Sorry, just very Sorry, the Gentlemen of the press, I say good evening to gentlemen of the press. I say good evening to every one of us. Um, as you could um, observe, that uh, since last week we have been having some some level of engagement on on the subject at hand, and uh, said by. The Honorable Speaker, Federal House of Representatives, and my my colleague, uh, the President of NLC, uh, that uh, we've been able to put some agreement together, and um, the document is what was just read to you few few minutes ago. And uh, we, from from Labour, all we want to encourage government is to take this seriously because this government is just coming. Uh, this may be the first agreement that is being signed by by this government that, that was inaugurated on May 29 by the Tinubu, uh, President Tinubu's administration. So I I want us to to commit uh, to get these issues resolved as soon as possible. So for us uh, from Labour, we are we are, we are totally committed uh, to get these issues resolved for the benefit of uh, the entire Nigerians. So uh, thank you so much and. Uh, I wish us a good evening. Mm. Hey, my people, not be small thing, no. Meetings, not be here, yeah, back to back like this, eh? Anyway, they don't agree to suspend the strike. We'll see the ask come on to the off where subsidy begin issue. Make me drop in a comment on everything this whole matter and make me not forget to like and share. When I do well, see you in our next video. DJ